The United States is remarkably secure, but you wouldn't sort of get that sense if you uh, listened uh, to our president or the members of Congress uh, who constantly are finding threats out there uh, to America's security. And I, I don't want to be in the position to deny that there are challenges out there, but you know, I'd really uh, strongly uh, urge us to uh, put these challenges in their proper context. So let's talk about uh, one of the challenges de jour, uh, the North Korean regime uh, under the odious dictator Kim Jong-un's uh, frenetic and uh, sustained pursuit of a uh, nuclear capability. Uh, there's no doubt um, that the North Korean regime uh, is a terrible regime, uh, inflicting suffering mostly on its own people. And I you know, freely concede that the world would be better off if they didn't have uh, a nuclear capability. And the question then is how much of a threat does this uh, pose to the United States? And my answer, contrary to the uh, hyperventilating uh, that you see in a lot of the discussion of this topic is that it really doesn't change things very much. To begin with, the United States uh, is one of the largest uh, nuclear powers in the world. Currently, our arsenal consists of about 4,000 nuclear warheads that are deliverable in a wide variety of very reliable packages. Uh, contrast that with North Korea, which may have you know, 20 to 30 uh, atomic devices uh, that may or may not be deliverable on anything other than short-range ballistic missiles. Now, most people would concede that the balance is uh, very much in our favor, uh, but say, look, uh, this is a crazy regime. I mean, couldn't this be uh, a case in which uh, a, a madman has his uh, finger uh, on the nuclear trigger? And uh, I don't want to defend uh, Kim Jong-un's rationality or his uh, sartorial uh, uh, choices, but I would say that uh, he's learned the lesson that many other dictators uh, have learned from uh, Saddam Hussein and from uh, Muammar Gaddafi, which is if you don't want to be invaded by the United States, uh, build uh, uh, whatever rudimentary nuclear arsenal you can. Now, you can't eat nuclear weapons, and uh, a, a residual nuclear arsenal, I think, is no guarantee uh, that the uh, uh, North Korean regime won't collapse of its own internal rottenness. Uh, in fact, I anticipate that that's what will happen, uh, and that will present its own set of challenges, but there are a very different set of challenges than the ones that uh, we've been talking about in the general political discourse about the North Korean nuclear threat in our country. So the question then is uh, what the United States uh, should do about North Korea. The challenge that the United States faces is when the regime goes south, as it invariably will, uh, it won't be tomorrow, could be five years, could be ten years, uh, it's going to uh, pose to the United States uh, a challenge. And the challenge involves two elements. Uh, first of all, the United States uh, and the South Koreans will be tempted uh, if a civil war starts in the North, or even if there's just uh, large-scale social unrest, to intervene. The South to reunify their country, uh, the uh, United States to uh, try to clean up uh, the nuclear capability. But the problem is that there's another great power with a big equity in North Korea, and that's China. Uh, and the Chinese uh, are not uh, particularly uh, fond uh, of the Kim regime, uh, but they're sort of stuck in a dysfunctional marriage with them. Uh, they don't want a uh, reunited uh, Korea under Seoul with nuclear weapons uh, on their border. Uh, and so the real problem that we face is uh, how we manage 
the inevitable endgame uh, of a collapsing North Korea uh, with China. And here the solution is uh, a explicit uh, set of uh, discussions and agreements with the Chinese uh, about uh, what will happen in this context. And I think we'd be well advised to start now uh, dialoguing with the Chinese uh, about the future. And I think a unified Korea, but also one without nuclear weapons and uh, non-aligned uh, without a major U.S. military presence uh, could be the deal that would uh, work for everybody. Mm -hmm.